Well, hello everybody. This is Matt from Personal Defense and Firearm Education. And here are three Glocks. And we're going to talk about Glocks and concealed carry and the pluses and minuses of these different versions. As you see, starting at the very beginning, I have a baby Glock, the Glock G26. Here is the Glock 19. And here is the Glock 17. What are the differences? These are all chambered for a 9mm round. Capacity differs. The baby Glock can hold a standard capacity of 10 rounds. The Glock 19 can hold 15. And the Glock 17 can hold 17 rounds. Aside from that, what are the differences? Well, obviously size. Something that is smaller, like the Baby Glock, is easier to conceal than one of its larger brothers in the family. And also, as you can see, I have a clip draw attached to the 26, which means that obviously when I carry this, currently I'm using this as my form of concealment. Whereas with the 19 or the 17, I'm using a different type of concealed carry rig. From a size standpoint, um, what little nuances can I bring in here? Well, one obviously is the overall length of the barrel and the slide assembly. They differ, but a big one is right here. This is the height. This can make the difference between something printing, showing through the clothing very easily versus it not. So on this baby Glock, this right here is pretty much an ideal size for me. It works. I'm not worried so much about the length overall as I am the height. So on a summer's day or something like that, the baby Glock is easily concealed. If I do say a comparison between that and the 19, try to get them lined up here so you can see that. There's a half to three quarters of an inch difference here at the end of the barrels, but side by side, that right there is a significant difference when it comes to printing or the possibility of it. Let me remove the 19 from the equation. And let's compare it with the 17. And the difference will become even more pronounced. Right there. That is a big chunk of real estate to try to conceal. So, there you have it. And what other differences can we uh, discuss here? Out of the three, I would say that personal preference, the Glock 19 fits the bill most of the time. Uh, in the summer, the baby Glock, the 26. Uh, but I'll tell you one thing, I love the Glock 17. Um, it's just a real, real solid performer. Always has been, probably always will be. Uh, but, again, that's personal preference. These are things that you should consider if you're going to carry a semi-automatic pistol. So, what else can I give you as far as observations or my experience with these? Well, like I said, I really love the 17, but I also like the 19. I love the concealability of this 26. And when it comes to range results, I, I have to tell you, the first time that I took a baby Glock to the range, I had a target 15 yards away. And I looked at it and it's like, I am not going to hit that with this because it's so short. I was surprised. I hit paper very first time. So don't discount the size for accuracy. This does very, very well. Also, 
everybody uh, can have a different relationship with their firearms. Most of the major companies that are out there today make good quality stuff. Uh, Sig Sauer, Glock, Smith & Wesson, they make good things. It's just personal preference. And sometimes I like to be with a platform that I'm familiar with because I'm familiar with the triggers on all these. I'm familiar with the way that they fit in my hand. That makes something for me that's consistent and repeatable. And when it comes to accuracy in that, uh, anybody will tell you consistency really counts. So consistency with what you carry can be very important. The other thing is price point. Now, I know that there are people out there that, uh, that love the more expensive firearms like the high-end 1911s and that, but a lot of times you can pick up a brand new Glock for around $500, sometimes a little bit more, but um, in my area currently they're going for around $500 versus a buddy of mine that has a very high-end 1911 that he paid $3,500 for. If you do the math, I could have seven of these. Well, the other thing is, frankly, with the economy the way that it is, um, I don't know too many people that have deep pockets these days. So being on a budget, that, that can make it right there. Uh, and these things are mechanical. Eventually, they will break. They will need parts replaced. I can easily get parts for my Glocks, any of them. I have no problem whatsoever recommending them. My experience with Glocks customer service has been absolutely fantastic, but the availability of parts directly from the manufacturer or the aftermarket seems to me like a no-brainer. So anyway, here are three Glocks. I would give them a big thumbs up. I don't think that you can go wrong with either of these. It's up to you. Stop by your local gun shop, check them out, actually you know, hold them in your hands, see how they fit because the fit is important and not everybody has the same type of hands. Um, one thing that I will tell you about the 26 that really disturbs some folks is this right here. Nothing to support the pinky. That really bothers some people. Um, it does not bother me, but if that's an issue for you, then maybe you should be into something like a 19 because on a 19... Not a problem. So, as with anything, check it out before you buy it. But that's my two cents worth. And until next time, have a good one and be safe.